come on in. Um, Miss Bird is supposed to be uh, coming on the stream. If you can hear me, darling, uh, just follow that link and it will bring you to the studio. Bird, I don't know if you're in here with us, but if you are, just uh, follow the link in the comment and it will bring you to the studio. And uh, and, you, and you don't have to uh, show cam or whatever. It can just be a banner or blank and just your voice if you want. Uh, anybody else is welcome to call in as well. We have 10 spots we can use if we want to. Just wait for people to file in here. It's 5.30 Central Time, so I guess it was 6.30 her time when I uh, invited her to stream. Please, if somebody would come into the StreamYard link, I see we got a few people. Bird, I don't know if you can hear me or if you're in the lounge. We don't, we won't half-ass it. Just please come on for just a little bit even. You can always come back on. Well, that was Miss Bird. Okay, guys. Yep, we're going to be talking about, uh, so. I'm doing a stream tonight. The thing is, I need someone to talk to. So, somebody please um, come on in. If not, I'll uh, go back to making just, I'll just go back to making videos, not live streams. I'm trying to do a live tonight, though, because uh, I was supposed to be waiting on Miss Genesis. She was originally going to be on here. But I haven't heard from her all day. She's kind of went ghost mode. And after a video I've seen, I wonder if she's even a real person. Uh, or somebody just using a picture with a name. You know what I mean? She's very interactive, very involved with me and another uh, content creator who is not interacting with me for no other reason right now than she just got her live working and <laughs> then as soon as she got her live working she Choo! you know i was all oh, i was this i was rude i was that blah, da, 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 da. yeah well the video got several hundred views and it's the biggest video on my whole channel so i appreciate you coming and making it i didn't mean to over talk her or something it was my first live you know i, I i'm sure i didn't do even a 
B plus job. I probably did a C minus at, at, at best, but you know, it didn't deserve the way she's acting towards me now. So anyways, I'm not bad mouthing her name, but this person that interacted with her, me and several others. So it's just weird. She's not interacting now because now she's not on here. So yeah. Johnny gobble is, um, uh, I can't imagine if he, uh, I cannot imagine if if he has current warrants out and stuff. Why haven't they gone to get him? Uh, can somebody clue me in on that? Because I, I I don't get the whole thing about having a warrant for your arrest and since 2020. At least this is what I saw in one video. Person could be wrong, of course, about what they were talking about. I'm going to take my cam out. I'm going to take my uh, cam out and leave the audio because my camera sucks pretty much. Okay, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is we're going to go over and I'm going to. Here, let me do this. We'll do some reacting, we'll do some commentary on some videos. How about that? So apparently Goble deleted this from a few days ago. Shout out to Creek Squad for life. Like and subscribe and go check out her channel, please. I ain't giving no attention. What's the news today? Um, well, the news today is that my church will be going to jail tomorrow. And you know this how? Oh, and I would say... Thank you, Dale. Oh, come true. Like Appreciate you, old dirty ninja. I'm making you my moderator, buddy. You're my moderator, old dirty ninja. Oh, dirty ninja. Oh, you're my moderator. I can see it in your comments that you had the vehement proof 
what you claim you have to show it. I don't have to show nothing to you all. I don't have to show y'all nothing. I, got, I keep that to myself, y'all. You don't all, you don't show your card, boys. You going to jail tomorrow, guys? <laughs> he ain't going. He ain't going to portray you. Portray that I'm a pedophile. And and and, and then delete the video. <laughs> like you all, man. I, I'm receiving death threats. You know what I mean? God save the queen. That's exactly right. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. You are not singing one of the best country songs ever and think it applies to your life. Buy that church, bro. You won't. Sure. Yep. Okay. You're not going to jail. You're all okay, you boys. Okay, come on, y'all see. Yeah, no when to walk away. No when to I see that he's went he went to Panama. I seen Ryan slander you. Yes, he did. He yes, went he to did. Panama City Beach, Florida. That's where he went to. All right, buddy. I'll call you another one. Backburn. Johnny Eagle. One who cried me in the dark. Look, ass. I thought you had had until in the morning to get in contact. Boy, the way you smoke them cigarettes, you ain't gonna last one day in jail because you're gonna trade that booty for a uh, for half a cigarette, Thomas. Ain't playing with him. Little Ryan is waving his white flag. He gives up. He is tired of being exposed. He really. Do you like Alan Jackson? My favorite. Actually, he's just tired of dealing with somebody as stupid as you. No. Who don't even care anymore? I bet you. I bet you anything. Ryan is looking back right now, thinking, with the I got. "God should have never even started you," and he shouldn't. Then again, maybe he should have. I don't know. Let me tell you, and I live forty-five minutes from you, so I'll see you. All right, William. All right, Dim Bile. All right, Dim Bile. There's another threat. <laughs> don't fall asleep. That's it. Would be soon. All right, then. Let me just say this right now. Johnny, I don't care if you get a thousand threats sent to you a day. If they're on the internet, there's not a dang thing they can do about them. Unless a person shows their face, name, date of birth, and, and, and all that type of stuff. And, and says it uh, directly. You know, do you think the police are seriously going to try to find out what a person behind a YouTube account, when they said they might, you're going to jail or we're going to get you? Those aren't death threats, Johnny. Those are people making fun of you because of how idiotic you are. You think that the only thing, the only thing, that has happened to you is you've talked your mouth and ran it and people have used their free speech back and one of them people just have the other person just happens to have a large following and when you mess with anybody that has a large following of people groups friends what have you guess what you don't just mess with the person you're messing with the whole unit so no they're not a cult. A cult is something like, uh, you know, Charles Manson, man. Scientology. You know what a cult is. It ain't Ryan up churches people that group of people that like him for who he is, his journey and his music. That's not a cult. The only reason why his people are rallying behind him against you is because we have, you have made it very not hard to get on someone else's side than yours. Everyone has seen your videos, writing and drawing Ryan's face. 
everyone's seen your videos, shaking and dancing your little high ass off to Ryan's country songs. Everyone's seen your video of you saying that, oh, by the way, you want to talk about threats and there goes that and there goes this mr tattletale mr snitch mr mr i'm country and i want to portray a, a big tough man image but at the same time i'm gonna file report i'm gonna file report i'm gonna file report i'm gonna file report i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you mike in the car i'm gonna get you too oh and that little old young lady gave me a weird eyeball down there and went dag burn at dairy queen i'm gonna get her too for harassment I sent the Dairy Queen an email, yeah, I dag burn did, and they told me they're going to fire her, and I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to make sure they fired her, I'm going to check, because that's how petty I am, that's how fucking stupid and ignorant I am, my name is Dagburn, Johnny Gobble, want me, file me another charge, Bitch boy. Um, there's actually people out there right now selling merch, selling dag burn merch, and and I have, you know, I know you are not talking about anybody that's selling some fucking merch. Number one. I don't think you are smart enough to have come up with the phrase dag burn. I guarantee you didn't come up with it. I guarantee it. Just like the guy in the commercials. I guarantee it. I shirts and, and sell them, but I wanted to see what people would do. And they really done what I knew what they do. Using my name. Dag burn. Oh, you not. burn is not your name. Your name is John Gobel. Which made fun of. I called you Johnny Gobel because you're a Gobel. But either way, you do not own the Dag burn copyright trademark. Do you? Do you got Dag burn copyrighted? Do you got it trademarked? Do you? Let's see it, Johnny. Show us the Dagburn trademark. All the fake threats from these geek squad weirdos. I know, man. You're just making fun of how slow Ryan is. It's going viral. Yeah. So he keeps talking about how fake they are. He just don't know. One of these days, he's going to walk into Paintsville, Kentucky, Walmart, and someone's going to recognize him, and they're going to knock his block off. Exactly right. Can I have moderator? No, you have to. You, you don't just get moderator, guys. You have to show me you support me, and then then you can make moderator. But a guy was just kissing his ass about two minutes ago, and he went ahead and made him moderator, huh? Looks like the Dagburn list isn't hard to infiltrate. That drawing you're doing, the one you're going to sign, auction it off. Yeah, yeah, I ain't done with it yet. I'm working on it, and uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm probably going to auction it off for a charity here for my hometown. I'll well, probably take between mayor and up church. Well, you probably did. Whoever those poor people Whoever are that benefit from that, that charity, I feel sorry for them. I'm telling you, I ain't playing. Dude, this whole thing. Oh, I know, uh, Stacy. They try to break me. They ain't going to break me. I've not been through too much in my life. <laughs> Worse shit than this. Worse shit than this. Y'all ain't gonna break me. If you call digging around on the floor looking for that one piece of meth, I swear I dropped, but now I can't find, and I've been looking for it for the past six hours, and I swear it's right here. I just gotta keep looking, and the whole part of the house where he's looking is destroyed, and there's nothing there, folks. He snorted that shit a long time ago. But he thinks it is. Just like he thinks. He's going to do something. And he's going to get quote unquote justice. My poor dog. Sorry, Brownie. It's okay. My dog has a little. 
he has these issues and whenever he eats with his breathing, I hate it. Must need new Jordans already. No, my no my new Jordans are fine. Just okay, right there. I wish I had a better computer and a shitload of better software because I swear to God I'd take the time to edit this video just right. But that moment, a nice little text of self owned should have just came across there. Because you literally it, <laughs> Use them for a new pair of Jordans. No, I got my my new Jordans just fine. I got them on. Well, thank you for showing us all how immature you really are to still be 40 years old and having to wear brand name Michael Air Jordans while you, your working wife, you're not working, and kids live in a Section 8 house. You piece of shit prioritizing priorities wrong have an ass motherfucker yeah he, people say that i run him off the internet but yeah i i, I know i did but i can y'all see <laughs> I'll hold you to it. Watch and see. Kids should have never been brought into this. No, they shouldn't have. Well, my kids are getting pulled out of school because of social workers. You brought kids into this first, man. Would nobody, you have never showed us any proof about your kids being pulled out of social workers due to threats or complaints made that falsely by people on Ryan's side. That's what you, that's the image you're trying to put out there. And I'll give it to you, you've got a good amount of people thinking, uh, you know, and, and that's fine, they can be like that. But show us the proof, bro. Show us the proof. You always like to say when someone says show you something, I ain't got to show you nothing. You're right, you don't. And ain't none of us got to believe you and ain't none of us got to quit making videos saying what we say because there are people close to you. There are people whose just reputation, just hell, a squirrel's reputation would be more believable than you. So just by that fact, yeah, we believe them. And uh, remember, kids weren't brought up into this until you started texting Ryan Earp Church's siblings. Which, you know, that's funny because I wouldn't know the first place of where I could try to find out Ryan Earp Church's siblings, Twitch, uh, or anything, you know. Um, I don't know who Dagburn paid. Damn it, I said it. I don't know who Gobble paid, or I don't know what type of research and skills somebody he paid had, or maybe he just watched so much Ryan stuff for so long that he knew, and he had all this stuff, and it was part of another plan, and then he turned it into what it is now, and so he had to go for plan B, which was harass everybody. Yeah, uh, I, I can't imagine somebody in the middle of Paintsville, Kentucky that doesn't know Ryan Upchurch. I can imagine you maybe getting Ryan's attention, even talking to Ryan. I don't see, though, how you're able to locate his younger, underage siblings. But you did, because I know one thing. Ryan and his mom would not have came to Paintsville, and Ryan's mom wouldn't have filed charges if he didn't do it. And we saw the video of you reacting to Ryan's video when he told you what was telling everybody what you did, and you didn't deny it. You laughed at it. So you did it. This motherfucker's taking shit too far. Yeah. 
Yes, you did run. Yes, you did run him off the internet. Thank you very much. Smash like button. Gobble gang. What's up, Dino? How has this affected your kids? It's honestly stupid. How? Okay, whatever. It has affected my kids. Chad, I am. If Ryan does not reach out to me and fix this by in the morning, I'm going to the sheriff's office first thing in the morning. And take them all the proof I got. I done talk to them. The other bullies. Why does it matter if I got a ring light? I don't want a ring light on my face. I'm sure she will regret making a joke because every Thanksgiving. Yeah, I wish his sister and your daughter everyone involved in this god bless you both sides thank you calls country what's up amy i heard of john pelfrey no i ain't god bless you. great night thank you dale one thing for him to fight ryan he has told him over and over to come box him little ryan makes all these threats and talks tough exactly right you're exactly right neighbor jay you got to box him. He won't. I can barely see you. But him listening. What is it? His government known church is done. We YouTube, guys. If Ryan will box me, I would delete my whole YouTube. I promise. I'll sign a contract saying I would delete my whole YouTube. And I'll never be back on YouTube again if Ryan will box me. He already tried to. Dude. Are you seriously that delusional? Am I the only one here that understands why Ryan wouldn't go to this guy's house? Because then this guy could have God knows who there waiting. It, 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 Ryan has a security detail. His security's not even going to let him do that. That's why they went to somebody's who had a gym that was connected to a police officer in the community. Oh, but that was all, all part of the conspiracy because John Holbrook and Mike Ryan were talking days and weeks ahead of time. Johnny Cashville got a hold of him and set him up together. Yeah, I'm sure it's how it all went down, Gobble. They all met on a private Zoom call and said, how are we going to make it and embarrass this little gobbler up? That ain't what they did. They said, hey, how can we do this the right way without any legal BS? They thought about it, and they came up with the idea they had. You knew where they were at. You weren't scared to drive by there, which got you a criminal summons. You're not scared of getting, um, you know, like, y y you just don't understand, man. Like, <laughs> I'll just let him keep talking. Tell Dad you're sorry. Let's move on. I'll never tell that guy sorry, ever. He owes me an apology. Yes, I would. I promise. Guys, I, I put it. I put that on everything I love. I would delete my YouTube if he'll set up a boxer match between me and him. Just in case you wide to the words. It's like the hundredth time you said that, and never gonna happen. Good. I mean, I would. Don't believe that bullshit. Oh boy, it wouldn't be fair, Johnny. All right. Should take him up on that offer. Or are you going to like be it for life? Exactly, old dirty ninja. I mean, how far you can save up in his own damn home city in Nashville? I don't care. Set it up in Nashville. <sighs> Geek squad will miss you. <laughs> no, I know they would. I know they would. Shit, I know they would. Why don't you ask for the boxing match? No proceeds for the charity that supports children and abuse victims. That, that would be a good idea, too. That's what I'm coming down to. You know, I'll pay bills. I'll pay bills. I'll 
eight mules here. I will forever be known as a spoiled brat coward. You're exactly right. You want to popularity too much to leave YouTube. No, I don't. I'm not worried about being popular. I don't want to be popular. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Smoke in your house. What does kids say? That's not your business. Johnny going to jail? No, I'm not. Why don't you reply to your comments? You only reply to your moderators. No, I don't. Ryan, don't respond by morning. Filing charges. Miss McConnell is a piece of crap. You are a piece of turkey, dirty, dung, filth. Tell you what, Johnny, you better get ready for Fleece Johnson. I cannot believe your dumbass is being this stupid and doing all that you're doing in a place like Kentucky where they got someone like Fleece Johnson, the infamous booty warrior, locked up. He gonna say, now, Dag Burn, we can do this the easy way, and we can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. And he's gonna say, I, 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 Dag Burn, Johnny Gobble, won't you let me slide on up here? I see you choosing the hard way. No, 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 no. That's what they gonna do to you, motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> I'll be always be forever known as an ex junkie. Buddy, Connor, I mean, like, why, why are you putting my address out there? Like, do you think I care if you make my address? It's, it's all over the internet right now. Do you think you're hurting me? No, you've already hurt yourself. They're just doing it to show you and remind you how stupid you are. Yes, Ryan and his mom are. I wonder if this guy's already went through the stage of being up random hours of the night, paranoid, thinking some riding up church mega fan's going to come and murk his ass. I swear to God, if I was him and all my info was exposed like that, oh my God. Woo! Dad, my Ryan's dad and mom are divorced. Nope, I didn't do nothing myself. So I made Ryan put a video up saying that I was a pedophile and, and, and having people attack me. So, yeah, yeah, I'm the, I'm the one that done that. <laughs> I'm the one that done that. Correction. He didn't call you a pedophile, Johnny. He brought up how you hit up his underage brother and sister and joked about it and talked about their mom's sex life. That is pedo-type shit. It was inappropriate wrong damn well you knew what you were hinting at and trying to do you knew what uh what fire you were trying to light up under someone's ass and guess what you lit the fire so damn hot that it came back on you and burned you and you don't like the heat well it's too late buddy you're already in the street Sorry, it's Y'all hocus pocus, exactly. I mean, all these people said they was going to pull up. I ain't seen one person pull up yet. Not one person has pulled up. My address is all over the fucking internet. And who put that out there? Ryan did. <laughs> Ryan did. No, you put it out there. And they didn't say they were going to pull up right then. They just said they were going to pull up. So, 
learn to read and infer all the possible based meanings, not just the quickest. I got all kinds of proof, guys, that y'all would. It would blow y'all's mind if y'all seen the proof I had. What's up, Ham's auto? Open invitation to Johnny Goble. Come to me on private chat like you know your little chicken shit ass did before and show me the proof you won't you can't i won't record it you will never show anyone the proof because you've always got that excuse you're afraid someone's gonna have it screen recorded But then again, if it's proof that helps you, why would it matter if everybody in the world had a screen recorded? Uh, can't answer that one, can you? What, what, what's it matter if I'm a motherfucking ex junkie? <laughs> Credibility, Johnny. Credibility. Yeah, they're proving why the church isn't one in the wrong when they're putting my address right here in the comments. Like, y'all are stupid. I'm trying to pull it up, though, but I'm going to my message. I don't have to show shit, boys. I don't have to show shit. I don't have to show my hand to y'all. Lord. That's what Ryan is such a crybaby. His mommy and daddy hurt his little heart, so now he wants to be. Yeah, exactly. Set up a go find me for Ryan and I see you bills. I'm outside, Johnny, come out here. Oh my God. Put your address in your neighbor and your neighbors. No, I, I ain't never put my address online, ever. I don't have to show proof, motherfuckers. I don't have to. <laughs> Fuck you. The height of stupidity and narcissism mixed. I don't have to show proof, you motherfuckers. You people that is viewing my live stream. That has made my whole life livable and bearable my whole junky non-working miserable kids don't look up to me as a rightful father ass chester vibe giving off motherfucking junky life you're an idiot you're gonna sit there and the people that are actually on your side or well <laughs> borderline on your side some of them half of them hopefully and you're gonna call them names motherfuckers and whatnot <laughs> how did you ever get even past a thousand how did you even get a thousand subscribers oh wait i know because ryan oh yeah because of ryan your number one fanboy johnny that you claim to hate and that he's wronged you so much and you want to box him so bad but you drove right by a set of boxing gloves in the gym just three, four days ago. Because he is the one that's got 2.58 million followers that he went online and told them to do something in the comments, <laughs> to say shit in the comments. I mean, you think people ain't his caught following and gonna fucking start and, and threaten me and shit uh, he's the cause of that he's the cause of it exactly George you girl people don't know what goes in personal life I don't do drugs I take care of my family I mean Y'all have no right. I have no right. Ask anybody. Yeah, where's the C cup brawl bottom line? You harassed the mayor's wife. I ain't never harassed a mayor's wife. Ever. I ain't never harassed anybody. <coughs> yeah, you probably asked. Sure, sure, sure. 
hey, I got all kinds of neighbors. I got neighbors down the road that'll let me know when a new car's coming up the road. So I ain't never put my address out there. Number my cell phone number on tw on the on his, on his YouTube channel twice twice. And you, and no, I didn't say if Ryan don't box me. I'm going and to you place. put Johnny's number on yours. That's how I got it. Appreciate it, by the way. I let, sent him a text message, let him know how much I, uh, you know, been I've been a subscriber of his a long time with Ryan way before you ever came along. <clears throat> So I appreciate that. Although I missed because I had a life, I missed your number. Dang, I wish I would have got it though. Uh, huh. uh, th let's just say I know some apps and programs that could have made fun use of that phone number. I said that I, I was going to, if he didn't make it right or get it, he told me to make it right by in the morning. I am. RHEC family, man, get the fuck out of here. You would support me too at one point. Get the fuck out of here. Won't you tell them, RHEC family, uh, about about Bobby with Redneck Nation and the way he done me, bub? Won't you tell them that? You, you was there. <laughs> you mean about how he sent you free merch and you bitched about it after you were sadly in the depths of your psyche rejected and mad and vengeful and regretful and angry and had envy of Mr. Bobby that you decided to slander him all because he didn't want to sponsor you in your little YouTube channel. Boy, get the hell out of here. There are people like me and others that are working as much as we can and putting into YouTube. And we really didn't even start with a reason like you did. And we ain't out here trying to, you know, do this, do that. We're trying to work and build ourselves on our own. And you're making it plenty easy for us to grow. But, you know, you're not going to catch me out here asking for a sponsorship and then being told no. And get given free merch as a gift. And then gripe and make a response video about it. And then come on here and make another false claim that he done you wrong. Notice these code words. Done you wrong. I got all this evidence. They threatened me. Death threats. He's not specific about shit. And when you ask him for specifics, he says, fuck you. That's when all these people should unsubscribe. That would get him to shut up or put up real quick, wouldn't it? You know what happened. You just call me on the phone. <laughs> you mean you're free text now, never? Nope. You have Snapchat, Dag Burn? No, I don't have Snapchat. Damn, what's coming around and goes around? Where's Cash? I don't know where he's at. He knew who Daddy was. He don't know he was over at. I am not a joke. Johnny is a one man army. I have mad respect for him. Yeah. I, I man, it's it's been a long road with this fucking piece of shit, Ryan. Yes, I can. I, I ain't threatening the file charge. I'm going to in the morning at nine o'clock in the morning, as soon as the door fucking open. I promise you. I promise you. I've got enough proof that he will go to jail tomorrow. Yeah, I got several lawless friends of mine, so. Nice toys and intermittent music. He was a musician. Trouble battle has been going on for a while. Just a bit that you get a bit out trolled. I ain't been out trolled. 
Looks like my Ryan was the one when it left the internet. It wasn't me. You clearly said if he doesn't find you that the extortion but you're fucking retarded. Where's this extortion come from? Y'all motherfuckers are stupid. Ryan told you extortion in that video and y'all taking random with it. That motherfucker's reaching for straws is what Ryan is doing. Johnny, he's in prison already. It's one he can't even leave, sadly, exactly in his mind. He's prison. He's a prisoner in his own mind, Ryan is. So when he tomorrow, what excuse you want to make? You have nothing else to do. Stay on here. The verification symbol different for your profile when you screenshot around for a while. I don't know. Does he have what I don't want to do? Make it right. That's what I'm saying. Ryan was a man. We'll make a civil agreement to both delete their videos and go their own separate ways, but you won't see him do that. No, he wants to be in, he wants to be in control of everything and, and thinking that he's not, he's untouchable because he's got all that money, but he ain't untouchable. So many years we get him. No, he's not untouchable from you. He tried to let you touch him. He wanted to touch you a bunch of times with that boxing glove across the face. But sadly, and very, 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 very regretfully, you like to touch other stuff, don't you, you sick fuck? He's going both. Y'all can say what you want. It's doing offer to do a sanctioned boxing match. He's not doing anything legal. What's Ryan doing is slander and defamation. That's exactly right. I'm doing like what he's doing is totally different. Yeah, you're right. He's got his own stuff. He's got his own money. He makes his own money. He treats his lady like a lady, and he's a man of his word, and he drove five hours to your town, and you had not the balls but to do anything but drive by and yell, Dag burn. Got all kinds of proof. But I'm not willing to show it to anybody. your soul to get law involved. I don't want to get the law involved, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to Alex G. Oh, Alex G, it's not going to hurt his, his soul. It's just going to hurt that booty. I'm giving him until in the morning to, to get in contact with me and, and, and apologize to me. <laughs> if he don't get in contact with me before in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm, I'm filing charges. Imagine walking in this sheriff's office and they see this video and you say, all right, I'm here to file charges. And why are you here to file charges, they ask, and you tell them your reason, you want to tell them why. And they say, huh, well, if that's the reason, why would you say if he had got a hold of you by nine, you wouldn't file charges? And then, boom, they would have caught you in a lie and your charges wouldn't be filed. Uh, he 
went too far with this last video. I know he did, man. I don't give a damn if you play cards with John Holbrook or not. So you're saying you play cards with uh, poker with John Holbrook? So you, John Fletcher, you just admitted to playing poker with John Holbrook <laughs> with a cop. <laughs> Uh, y'all better be betting on me. I promise you, you better be betting on me. And he seriously took that viewer's comment as fact. That's how, that's how dangerous this guy is. He made up a false internet world. He pretended to be a fan, got rejected, got mad, didn't get the approval he wanted, turned enemy created such a huff and puff he got enough followers enough attention to get ron's attention and now he is so enthralled in this delusional subculture that he's in that he's created from nothing and from just stupidity and boredom and pettiness and immaturity and he gets a comment like that and you look at that eyes and that laugh right there he thought it was true. He believed him. He did. Look how he said, you just admitted it. You know, I guarantee you Gobbles got every single one of these videos downloaded to an SD card ready to take into some office. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to take that thing and they're going to throw it into the trash can. No bot comment has no uh, picture profile. No, it does not. Well, guys, I'm gonna get off here. Thank God, finally got tired of it. Didn't had to go take another hit of that dope. <sighs> Well, pop back over here. Three still. Hey, what do you know? I got some people in here. Well, guys, I think I'm going to get off here too. I wanted to, because that was a deleted video of the Gobbler. If anybody that's watching this video, look, I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to. Obviously, I'm doing segments about Gobble and trying to figure out the people and players in this game. If anybody would like to join my team, has better uh, equipment or whatever, I have a StreamYard account and I've got an extra spot. Cami Victoria, I guess, didn't want it, so that's fine. It's available. Hit me up on YouTube. Just leave me a comment and I'll reply to you. Y'all have a good day. Remember, you saw it here at Square Work. Peace and blessings. Please pray for that family and that children, those children that are around him. And may that county office and police department execute and take care of those warrants or the court take care of him on his arraignment on the 25th, whichever is sooner. And hopefully we will be off the gobbler as a topic on YouTube here soon. Peace.